All right, this is Mr. Liao. I'm going to show you how to do some basic linear regression on your TI-30X-2S. So I'm going to use the VCR and VHS tapes examples from the notes on 15.4. So the first thing you need to do is go to stat mode, so press second, and then the data button, which is stat, and you're going to select two variable, because for linear regression, we have an X and a Y. So you hit two variable, it'll clear the screen. Now you need to input your data, so press the data button, and you will see that I've already entered in the X and the Y values. So if the first X value is 8.3, then Y1 is 9.5, and so on. X2 is 15, Y2 is 22. So to enter it, you're going to have to type it in and press the down arrow to get to the corresponding Y. When you're done, you're going to press StatVar. So StatVar will give you the summary statistics and refers to how many data points you have. X bar is the mean for X. Sigma x is the standard deviation of x. Y bar is the standard deviation of y. Sigma y is the standard deviation of y that we'll be using. And we keep scrolling ahead. Now we see a, b, and r. r refers to the correlation coefficient. So the correlation coefficient r equals 0.993 here, which means there's a very strong positive relationship between VCR households and millions of VHS tapes sold. The A and B refer to the equation of the best fit line. Now, calculators will alternate or disagree on what is considered slope and intercept. For the TI-30, A refers to the slope. So the equation of your line is going to be Y equals AX plus B, or Y hat equals AX plus B. So that means the slope here is 2.823, which means for every increase of 1 million households with a VCR, we will predict that an additional 2.823 million VHS tapes will be sold. So on the TI-30, the A refers to the slope of the line. B refers to the intercept, which means if there were zero VCR-owning households, we would have negative 15 million tapes sold, which obviously doesn't make any sense. Now, if we keep scrolling to the right, we'll see X prime and Y prime. You're going to want to use Y prime because what Y prime does, it allows you to enter in a value of X and it will give you the predicted value of Y for that value of X. So let's say I want to know what's the predicted number of tapes sold if there were 20 million households. So I'm going to press equals and it'll give me Y prime and then I'm going to input 20 for X. And that gives me 41.33, which means if there were 20 million households of the VCR, we would predict that 41.33 million tapes would be sold. Just to check to make sure it's right, let's scroll up. I'm going to now enter 0 for x, which should give me the value for the intercept. So that's how you do some very basic linear regression on your TI-30.